Hello. What you are about to witness today is a small but greatly significant piece of our world's history in the form of a puppet show. These scenes are based off of actual events and are not to be taken lightly. Today, we will explore the highlights of what eventually led to the fall of the Soviet Union. And the winner of the presidential election is Andre Gromyko! Thank you! Thank you! Uh huh, uh huh. And the winner of the general secretary election is Mikhail Gorbachev! Thank you! Thank you! And while I'm here, there's gonna be some serious changes. Well, we're proud to have you be our leaders. The people don't like the economy right now. And frankly, neither do I. What should I do? Oh! I should make reforms! I can fix the economy and make everyone happy! Haha! <laughs> I have made reforms in our government, everyone. I'm sure that you will all be pleased to hear them. They'll make you happy and the economy better. First is Glasnost. Glasnost gives you, the people, more freedom of speech and openness in the government. But government officials will be held accountable for the people's actions. Next is Perestroika, which will restruct the economy. It will now work more efficiently by loosening the control the government has on the economy. These reforms will be effective immediately. And once they are, I guarantee great results. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think about the reforms? I like Glasnost because I can say what I want, but I don't like Perestroika. It's just not showing those great results he promised. Personally, I think our country should become independent from the Soviet Union. <laughs> what about Gorbachev becoming president? What do you think about that? I don't like it one bit. Darn puppets. This is getting out of control with all those riots in Georgia and Estonia and Latvia. And now the Lithuanian Communist Party has declared its independence from the Union. If this keeps up, everyone except for Russia will have left the Soviet Union. We'll get through this, Nick. Don't let the Baltic region's push for independence get you down. But I did hear that that Boris Yeltsin's Yeltsin guy has left us to join the Republic. Holy carnage! Yeltsin? Uh, excuse my language. Oh, okay. We'll make it through and defeat Yeltsin's Republic. And hey, at least the people of Russia still love me. In fact, I think I'll relax in my holiday via this weekend. That sounds wonderful. This is nice. Well, sorry, we're gonna cut it short. What? Dmitri? Gennady? Why? The people have spoken, sir. They want independence, and we will give it to them. In your absence. Absence? You're sick, Mr. President. Too sick to govern. We'll just let you rest in here till you feel better. Ha ha ha. Drats! Locked! A window! Drats! A screen! Officer! Please! Help me! I'm being held here against my will! I'm being held hostage! I'm not really sick! Please! Holy crap! It's the president! No worries, President, Mr. President! I'll save you! So, since he's sick, we'll be taking over. But we like Gorbachev and the Soviet Union. Yeah, yeah, we don't we like don't you. Like you. Where, where's Gorbachev? Uh, we need military assistance. Soldier, shoot and arrest these people. No, I will not shoot my own people. Well, this isn't going as planned. Halt! You two are under arrest for holding the president hostage. Ah, uh, Elmo's world, we've been caught. Uh, you're under arrest. Puppets, I stand before you today to tell you that I and the Congress of People's Deputies Vote for the immediate eradication of the Soviet Union and the independence of all the outside states. You can start clapping now. It was only months after Yeltsin declared this vote that Gorbachev finally resigned from office. On Christmas Day, Gorbachev stepped down and Yeltsin became the president of Russia. And the Soviet Union was no more 
breaking it up into 15 different countries. This was very significant in the Cold War because with no Soviet Union, there was no opposition to the U.S., and thus, no war. This event marks the end of the Cold War, and the long fight for capitalism ended. Thank you, and goodbye.